Hello everyone, this is Jamyang. Guess where I am now? I am at my beautiful, beautiful hometown. And today, I'm going to firstly visit my uncle's home because he is the best, best Tibetan barley wine maker. And people over here in this village love to drink his wine. And I feel I'm really lucky and you guys are all really lucky because today my uncle is going to teach me how Tibetan barley wines are going to be made. And even to me, for a year, I haven't tasted his barley wine. Amazing taste! So I especially come over here to my hometown to learn how this barley wine is going to be made. Hello! <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, go. Go ahead. So first I'm going to introduce my uncle and his name is Uncle Unku and he is 55 years old and he have, he is the best winemaker in this village and he has like approximately around 30 years of experience of making a barley wine. Go. <laughs> I'm not going to give you a story. I'm going to give you a story. Oh, yeah, translate it. He's going to offer me a beautiful wine. I'm going to give you a story. I'm going to give you a story. I'm going to give you a story. So, first, I'm going to offer to my holy God. Oh, yeah, I miss this beautiful wine. And then now I'm going to taste this wine. Mm. <sighs> this beautiful taste reminds me five years back to this village. <sighs> uh oh! <laughs> The best, best wine in all over the world. I love this taste. And today, my uncle is going to show this process of how this wine is made. The barley that goes on the altitude of 4,000 meters and this is the barley to make the barley wine. Two hours 
uh, we have cooked all those barley really well cooked and then we have to cool we have to let it cool down for for a while that the until the temperature goes down Just Ah, no. That did two seven. He can't. Sample is Jabra. Sample is in the job. That didn't you to name the soon just this is So, this is what we called pop. And this is the thing to make the Tibetan barley wine. So, first. My uncle says that he have, he, we have to rub this and then have to churn it by the stone until it comes to powder. And then we have to put a little bit of barley powder as well. And then we have to mix it and then... And then, and then finally we have to spread it on this barley. And That did to put it as well. Need you to do it. Really? Stop. Yeah. Stop. 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 Three blankets. Now, after all this work, my uncle had to cover uh, this big pot with the blankets, with three thick blankets, because this pot need to have like. 20 degrees if you need a perfect tasty Tibetan barley wine. Bazaar, I 
现在也不起来了。你能去落回？嗯。来，这个板子。Di nyumar, nyumar, di kumu tu. Ngapa ngajar ni? Pukul saya nyumas. Di labu je, labu kabo pelap, pelap. Pukul show ada tak? Kan di show je. Hmm. Mana? ता देख कैसा तो जो जो है हाँ ता तेरे छोर ही मुझे वाजिस नहीं लगता यो हाँ हाँ वो ही आज समझ क्या दायना यो हाँ हाँ amazing taste Now I'm going to offer my uncle. We Tibetan people love to drink Tibetan barley wine. And it had approximately, as I told you, around 1000 years of history. People couldn't live without barley wine, and especially in village. So in future, when you visit this village, don't miss this place, but don't miss my uncle and his perfect wine as well. <laughs> so this is what we call Tibetan barley wine. And in my language, we call it Chang. And I also will teach you one that in Tibetan, we call Shabda for cheers. Shabda! <laughs> Okay. <laughs>